Hello, good evening, welcome. Right, let's get to business. We're doing Blackpool branches, pre-release, pre-release. So we, we did D2G stream on Thursday, uh, which I'm pretty sure many of you will have seen. And thank you for joining us there. So we're going to do another look in the route. We're going to do some different stuff um, from what we did on the D uh, DTG stream. So first of all, thanks to uh, Scott for the, uh, the great entrance at the beginning there. I'm just going to go and get my party gear on. I've, I've got said gear on, so we're, we're good to go. So tonight's plan, um, we're going to do a bit of class 142 as, as always, of course, you've got to do the 142. Uh, we're going to also do, um, so we're going to do a timetable, a scenario, and we're going to do something with the class 08, because we didn't show the 08 um, sort of in any entirety. Of it. I don't think we really did much to do with the 08, I think we may have seen it, but we didn't do any driving with it, so we're going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm not sure if my Steam's popping up actually with notifications. Let me just hide that. Apologies. Right, that's better. So, yeah, that, that's what we're going to do in a nutshell um, tonight. So, thank you for joining us. It's great to see so many people in. Obviously, we're doing this on YouTube rather than Twitch. We're going to try We're going to try and sort of move over to YouTube moving forward. Try and uh, keep it all into one place. Um, all being well, it'll go as planned. So, yeah, I'm going to try and keep up with the chat. It's going to be really, really hard to keep up. Scott's here as well, so... You'll see Scott in the chat. Um, Ed is knocking around somewhere as well. He's got a different name um, from what you might know. But he is around. I think he's under Huge Crab. H-U-G-H-E-S Crab. So any 142 related technical questions, we can always direct to him as well if I'm unable to answer. But there's plenty of us on uh, hand to answer as many questions as possible. And of course, I'm here to show you what's what. So the route's out tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're nearly there. We'll we're really nearly there now. Um, so 10 a.m. from consoles. So Xbox, PlayStation, 10 a.m. We've got those going live, and then for the PC, Steam, and on our JT store, uh, I believe around four o'clock in the uh, afternoon UK time. So keep your eyes out for whatever platform it is that you're going to be uh, purchasing on. And again, thank you to everyone in advance as well. So yeah, really, really great to see. Mark's here. I can see Mark's in the chat. Uh, I will see Discord. Hang on. Just before we do. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I'll have to get Scott to that because I haven't got the access to that. Didn't realise it would do that because he never actually asked me for a code. <laughs> I've just messaged Scott, so please see uh, your team, Scott. If you could drop Mark a message on Teams, uh, Scott, uh, if you can sort that with him, he'll be able to answer under the JT then as well. Right, so while that's happening, let's go and uh, get ourselves set up. And hello to anyone that's just joined us in the last couple of minutes. So if you've not missed anything yet, we're just about to get going. Right. So first of all, we're going to do the timetable, so we'll go straight to the trains choose the route as expected. We're going to do some sound checks as well just to ensure that everything's tickety-boo. Um, hopefully you'll be able to hear me all right and all that over the actual game. Um, if not, shout up. I will do some tweaking to ensure that you can hear me as well. Um, so first of all, when you go into the menu, this will be your uh, icon for the route. So you can see on there, um, Blackpool Branches, Preston Blackpool Ormskirk. Um, it's got the, uh, the collectibles on there and all that as well. Uh, cheers, Scott. Thank you. Um, so, click in the route. You'll find there is 254 timetable services. Five scenarios. I'm very quiet, am I? Can uh, anyone tell me if I'm very quiet or not? I'm too quiet. I'm normally told I'm too loud. <laughs> I've just upped my me, uh, microphone a little bit, just let me know. I'm happy to tweak if needs be. <clears throat> there's, all, there's always differences in the volume stuff. You can never get it just perfect. You might stream somewhere else and it'd be different and do something here and there. And other, it's always different. It's really annoying. <laughs> Mark says fine to him. Okay, you might just have to raise your speakers a little bit. I, I have up my microphone though, so it, it'll pick up a little bit better. So. Um, yeah, so five scenarios, uh, as you can see in there. We're going to be doing DMU debacle in a little while. Um, 
and then obviously you've got your training module which is a route introduction and of course free roam as um which is a train to world four uh standard these days uh, that was one of the new features so we're going to be doing the 142 and i've decided tonight to do the tl11 with the voif hydraulic transmission because that wasn't shown on um thursday so thursday i had the cummins and a bit of tl11 and self-changing gearbox which is the rr e5 transmission so i'm going to go with um the middle one that wasn't shown uh, and it's actually one i've not really driven very much so we'll all experience it together right so it's got my service name which i think is two 2J52 we're going to go with. I'm just going to double check this before I actually just go randomly guessing one. Yeah. So, we're going to go with... Uh, where is it? It's 1989-96, what in the naming. And I'm going to go with um, the GMPTE orange livery on this one. So, picking that. Rather than search, I'm just going to type in uh, 2J52. And there's a few different head codes with this. But the one we're going to go for is this one. And I'm trying to think what month to go with. Uh, we'll go with August because there'll be um, the potential to see some. I think August. No, September for illumination. So we'll go with September because you get your chance to see potentially illumination specials going into uh, Blackpool as well. So let's get started. Uh, there's po there is some tutorials, yeah, I've just seen there's a question for tutorials, so yeah, tutorials are there for the 142, the 08 and the 47, those are housed within a uh, training uh, centre, so you find them in there, along with all the other tutorials for all the other stock that's in the game, um, yeah, there's, there's three of those, three of them and the uh, training module, which is basically just a little introduction to the route, a bit of history and that. Uh, so 2J52, Blackpool North to Manchester, Victoria we're doing. Uh, it's an 11.55 departure. We get all services, as far as I'm aware, get two minutes um, prep time. I think the Steam Tour gets three minutes, um, potentially. Mark might be able to answer on that one uh, in the chat. I think that one gets three minutes because it takes a little bit longer. I'm pretty certain Benedict did say that on Thursday night, just because it takes a bit more faffing around and setting up, obviously, trying to get everything right with that one. Uh, right. <laughs> Let me know what the audio volumes are like. Obviously, there's all sorts going off. It's all busy. And all sorts of trains going on. So, I'm going to pop the key in. Lift the hatch up. and It's peaking now, is it? <laughs> Forza levels, I love it. A little bit of Forza level. Right, so I'm just going to unisolate that. lights on. I'm happy to tweak again if it's a little bit here and there. Again, it's it's always a pain in the backside trying to get things just right, but um, hopefully it's looking good. Uh, have we managed to add in landmarks in Livam? The, the windmill is there. You will see the, the windmill peeking over the tops of the buildings if you get if you're on the external camera. Uh, right, so we need a destination blind. So I'm going to go not to that one. I'm going to go over the top of here. Pop Manchester, Victoria. So it's not actually Manchester, Victoria. We just have Manchester. So back in this area, it's just like a little Manchester. We've got our lights. Those are set. If we're running a bit late, I'm not bothered. At the end of the day, we're doing this to show you. We're not, we're not racing along. We're going to experience and have a look up as much as we can in this... Uh, that's about right, isn't it? People stood in the train. Oh, we haven't done the, uh, the rear blind, actually. That's a thought. So, 47 with the um, the high lamp that's been uh, added onto the uh, 47s there. I can remove the overlay, it's not a problem. If it's, uh, yeah, it is comfy. Uh, I'll remove that. 
something that could be done with it, obviously moving forward with the channel. We're gonna, I'm going to see if we're looking to get in some updates to the um, overlays so that it works with Trains in World. Should be a, a good idea. Before we go, I'm just going to quickly show you inside Blackpool North Station as well. Because uh, I don't think we'll be coming back down here again this evening, so I'm going to just give you a quick look around. I will, yeah, I'll take you for a look through the train as well. Everything should be right with the hood now, though. So, I'm just going to take you for the outside. So, this is the exterior of the station at Blackpool. Move that hood for a second anyway, just so uh, you can see everything. I'll put all the time back up in the second when we get moving. So this would be the taxi rank area where obviously you would come off the train, you'd meet your taxi and it'll take you to your hotel or if you were walking obviously you'd go off that way and down towards the promenade up there. So you can see all the the old buildings that were here. These are no longer here, a lot of these. It's been heavily redeveloped um, as of recent like recent years. Yeah, teams, you might hear teams going off, it's just because we've got internal communications going on for anything that I may miss, so it's just a prompt for me. Uh, you've got the little cafe inside here. Come get yourself a cake. Be waved up by a gingerbread. Grab yourself a ticket. Be wary of the queues, though. You might be waiting. As much, uh, as much detail as possible was put into the station, as you can see, there's all sorts going on. Um, there's also offices upstairs, you can actually venture to the offices, so you can actually get a nice vantage point as well. You can come down here and go upstairs and uh, find yourself up here, just admiring what's in the station. There's all sorts to see. See, it can get quite busy in Blackpool. So there's also there's another train actually arriving over there now. So if we just fly back through here, see another special arriving. Right, doors are shut. I was asked to have a quick look inside the pacer before we go, we'll just have a quick look at that. Uh, can you do the whole gear on the early one four two? Currently no, uh, currently no. Only because we learnt about this quite late on in the development. However, this is gonna be something that we are gonna look into getting it in on the post release update. So we've already been talking about this and what we can do. So it will be coming later on in um, after the release. So when we get any bug fixes come through we're gonna include it with that. So do not fear, it will come. Uh, so here we go. Just a quick walk through. If you can find a seat, you can go and sit down and be a passenger. But today, this is a very busy service, so we 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 really should get the orange, shouldn't we? Because they're going to be getting quite unhappy with me uh, just uh, sitting here. I'll show you the uh, the guard panels as well later on. We're going to use them. They feature on the next scenario, so. go. Uh, why did you choose to make the route in the era? Uh, a few ideas to be fair were thrown around for the first idea of like route. This wasn't the first one at uh, first, there was other ones. I'm not going to tell you what they are because we, they could be something that might come down the line, you never know. So um, anyway, th this this idea was thrown out there and like, because I'm, I'm local to this area, it's like, we have to do this. <laughs> it's got to be done. Um, the era, it was something we wanted to cover this era anyway because there's such a, a wide range of stock in the game. Um, everything just fit nicely into like making the timetable. Um, the 142 wasn't the first choice of train either. We had other ideas for the train at first and eventually we got to the 142 idea we needed so we uh, went with that basically. We, we approached, we got obviously access to the 142 model. Um, but yeah, the amount of trains that are in BR meant that we could really fulfil and make a, a really, really busy um, boot timetable and just make it ooze of atmosphere. So that's how the 80s period came.
So we're stopping at all stations apart from Solvik. I apologize I can't keep up with everyone uh, chatting in the, st uh, in the stream. I know Mark and um, Scott are trying to answer his questions as well, so I'll try and pick little uh, bits and pieces that I can do as well. I'm trying to show you stuff at home. So with Devonshire Road, um, there. Got symbols biscuits to the right side. And you can see also the, the prominent um, View of the high-rise flats at Leighton there, just in the background, you've got Blackpool Tower just uh, poking its way above the buildings. We're going to damp some brakes on here because we are just approaching Leighton. Yeah, you might have seen the, uh, the 40s uh, knocking around in the timetable as well, that's one of the, uh, the layers along with the 45, the class 20, the 31, the 101 and um, also the 8F to name a few. So if I just show you the doors when they open up. You see the uh, the illumination on the, uh, the, the the push button there as well. That lights up when the uh, the doors are active. And so I'll show you the the, the actual panel stuff later on in the next scenario because that's going to be featuring on there. Uh, are there any services that use the four car pace? There is a couple. Um, yes, there is, uh, and you do I believe do a bit of uncoupling at Blackpool North to split them up into two car. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure which ones they are, but they do feature. Is head to weight 200%? Is it not? The, no, the cap to weight is set to 100. However, this was a question asked on the DTG stream, so I will put it to 200% just for a short period of time uh, if, if that's what people want to see. I've not done it myself. I have no idea what it's going to be like. Um, I'll warn you before I do it just in case it gives any uh, motion sickness or anything like that. Uh, ECS moves. Uh, Yes, there is a variety of all sorts of these pieces. Um, there's light locos and stuff like that as well. There's freight as well that you can uh, go for. There's freight to Bernays Terminal, uh, which is the, the, the ICI at the north extremities of the route, um, which is up, up this end. Um, there's also freight to Kirkham here as well. Oh, yeah, it, it features a fair bit of uh, variety. And also you've got, you've got rail tour stuff on and layers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, pa the Pacer is uh, a train that's been requested by so many many people so I think it was the absolute right move to go with uh, for this and also you'll be able to use this on uh, many other routes that you wish to do um, within your train symbol collection you're not limited just to this route you can you can take it on wherever you want if you want to go take it like over the Sherman Hill go for it if you want to go and take it along South East Nice Speed go for it you're not, you're not limited to this route, you can go and take it wherever you want. Um, it also subs in on the West Cornwall local, um, on there as well it works, on that timetable. It doesn't sub in onto Tees Valley or Northern Transpennine, that would require work from DTG uh, if they were to ever implement that, but unfortunately that's out of our hands. 
no doubt there will be people uh, building stuff for Creators Club and uh, making liveries and stuff like that. We, we all look forward to seeing what people put together because it's, it's quite exciting really. For the uh, disused trap bed down there. You can actually wander down there. Definitely do take a walk. It's a nice little walk. It takes you down towards uh, the Bernays branch. Does the North End go to Fleetwood? It doesn't go right to Fleetwood, no. It goes a, about two miles shy of Fleetwood, I'd say. Um, it goes as far as Burnays, which is the ICI. Um, the route was culled and cut back from Fleetwood, I think, in 1970, I believe. Poulton, number three signal box there, guarding the junction. There is some signal boxes with um, interiors as well. Um, those are Blackpool North number two, I think it is, off the top of my head, I think it is. Um, you've got Solwick and also a disused signal box at um, St. Anne's. The next station stop is Holton the Files. So the announcements you're hearing um, are on the public announcement phone, so you can activate them by pressing either clicking the, uh, the phone with your mouse or if you're using a controller, um, I think it'd be uh, A, I presume, if you're selecting that. Um, uh, sorry, I, don't, I haven't got a controller at hand on me to sort of give you that answer, but I think it's A. Whatever it is to select, I think it is A. Um, you can also do that, as I say, by pressing G on your keyboard. So, take a quick wander around Poulton. Sure, it wouldn't. Yeah, technically, it wouldn't fit in with Northern Transpine, But as I say, you can if you want to go and do it in free roam or make your own what if scenarios and stuff like that. There's uh, there's there's no right or wrong on what you can do. At the end of the day, it's your simulator, it's your game. You can you can be as adventurous or as true to life as you want. At the end of the day, it's uh, it's your experience. So yeah, you can go have a wander in the um, the waiting rooms. You could always go and pick up a map if you want to do so. There's, um, there's five collectibles on the route. You've got uh, gingerbread, the maps, golf clubs, sand castles, and uh, end of platform signs that need repairing as well. Those are, um, what do you call it? Passengers must not pass this point signs. Have a wander. You don't. You're not just confined to the station. You can go off the beaten track a bit and uh, explore. Get yourself some vantage points. Maybe just want to watch some trains go through. You can do all sorts. It is A on the controller. Thank you, Nigel. You might want to. Uh, someone's left the hammer on that car. Uh, you might want to come down here and just go and stand on these uh, milk crates and uh, find that there's a 101 sat behind you because you're running late. <laughs> You can you can sit here and watch trains go through. You can do all sorts. I'm just gonna quick fly back to the train because we're holding trains up because we're running late. I've also got, um, say, I've also got a door wide open here, but I think if I put it into neutral, yeah, I broke it. <laughs> Don't um, jump out while it's moving. Does that happen? It's right. We're on the move again. I should have shut that door before I got in because I, uh, I quit jump back into the uh, the train. But it's a bad song. Um, yeah, the clocks work on the wall. Um, there's, there's loads of them knocking about. Uh, the buzzer buzzes you first, uh, so you'll hear when the door's shut, it'll give you a buzz buzz, and then you would go buzz back. You can see the bounce uh, kicking in now. The bounce varies on the route as well. 
um, in different areas you get a bit more. Ormskirk is the more severe side of the bounce so on the suspension. See the, uh, the two cars bouncing away between themselves. Sorry, Ed. The Ed's it. Huge crap. But I should have stopped. I thought putting into neutral, um, it would have uh, been fine, but we've learned something here. Um, so yeah, I was on about. Um, there's all sorts of back walls you can do stuff on, like you can turn your sun lights on. Um, some of these are just visual, um, or just they just move. But at least you can play with them. You can also have a play with the um, fuses, like the isolating fuses. Um, I haven't actually played with these yet, so I don't fully know what they do. <laughs> but they do things, um, things like they'll put emergency lighting on. You can isolate uh, stuff like that. You can isolate um, AWS and stuff like that as well. You have to get yourself stuck into it and have a real good um, sort of dive into it. If you ever read the manual, the manual covers all sorts of stuff, what works. Um, Alex spent a lot of time working on the manual, getting that uh, ready for you guys to read early. So that is available. Um, I'm not sure if Scott's available to pop a link in for the manual for anyone that may not have read it yet. Come bounce with me, here we go, look at that. If we go back outside. Hello, Alex. I didn't spot you there. <laughs> uh, does the skipper livery appear in the timetable mode? Um, so you'll you'll see various liveries on the timetable mode as AI. Um, all AI 142s will run with the TL11 RRE5 self-changing gearbox. Um, you'll not find any Cummins engine variants or anything in the AI. That's only for the player. So you would pick which one you want to drive your uh, trip. Everything else in there will be the, the correct one for the era. All the extras are a bonus, really, um, on this. Added value for your money. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff. There's so many bits and pieces, so many little um, added extras in the stock side of things. Ooh. Thank you for the prompt as well. I totally forgot. So if you look over there, so the big thing that you'll see as well, going across Singleton Wheaton Bank is the view of the tower so you see there where my mouse is there's the tower you can also see Leighton Flats as well so it was well at night time that that actually lights up as well so you can actually see it lit up as well from such a far distance and you can actually see Kirkham from the straight section of track from um, Kirkham but when we get down to Kirkham as well I'll, on, the, on the long straight I'll show you DSD works, if you take your foot off it and get out of the seat, it'll stop the train. Mark shouting me, I just showed him. <laughs> so they're, uh, one of many signal boxes, that's, this one's uh, quite a... I don't know what my favourite as well, it's just perched upon the hill. Just weeds and signal box. Sort of in sort of in the process of it almost being uh, decommissioned. If I sit on this view here, somewhere around here, you should yeah, you can see. Can you see the uh, the flats down there? And if you look straight ahead where my mouse is here, you can just see the top of the tower poking over the uh, the hill just in the haze so you can see it from the, it's about seven miles um, sort of distance from where we are I 
Uh, does the 142 substitute on T's valley? It does not. That would require work from DTG's end if they ever wanted to do that. You can you can still do it on like free roam. You could make your own creators club scenario and put the pace on there. You can still play it on them routes. The only one it subs in on is West Cornwall local. Uh, does it have every 90 seconds to start beeping? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Ed, does it do that? <laughs> I think that's down... Is that not more down down to TPWS, where it, you get the beep? Ed will know the answer to this one. I'll consult with Ed. If it does, uh, we'll soon find out. <laughs> I've never heard it beeping, anyway. Right, so 30 mile an hour for the cross. So we're going onto the slow lines. Um, station is on the right hand side. Anyone that wasn't going to stop at Kirk will continue on the fast line. And also we join up here with the um, the bottom south line. As you can see coming on the uh, right hand side here. Which is a single track branch. It's a fair bit of track going on around here. This is where freight operations happen. You can see there's some sea cows in there at the minute. Kirk and North Junction, signal box, all the uh, the point rodding and all that sort of stuff going on as well. So it's a lot going on. Yeah, if you haven't done yet, please do press that subscribe button to help the channel grow. We are going to hopefully be bringing future streams on YouTube more than uh, anywhere else. That's where we want we would like to try and uh, house all the live streams. Mainly because as well, all our live streams won't be lost. We've used Twitch obviously in the past and they only stay there for a couple of weeks at the most so streaming on YouTube enables us to keep these lives basically there forever. Unless we accidentally delete them. <laughs> but yeah that, that is the main the main purpose is to forever keep stuff um, for people to watch. And it won't just be trains to world, we'll be still doing trains and classic stuff as well. We've, we've got stuff in our upcoming catalogue, so do be sure to keep your eye out for that as well. Uh, the aim is to try and keep it all to YouTube, Jack. Um, all being well. Right, this is Kirkham and Wesham. So, that 101 probably might be going on fast line. I'm not too sure if it might actually seem come past, but you'll probably held at the signal, because we'll be next. So again, quite a quite a lengthy station. It's seen some changes in the past and also in the future. I mean, modern days, there's actually a third platform here when they electrified the line. Um, they, they did away with the, the fast lines and made it three platforms. Again, you can, uh, you can go exploring. There's a... Uh, Make sure you don't get run over by any cars. You can explore yourself down uh, down below there. You can see the 101's going past at the minute. It's probably going to be hell for us though. You can have a wander down that road and venture down to the uh, civil engineering sidings. <coughs> oh look, there's a golf bag. That's what you as well. Everyone's got off. So I can just show you as well the um, the seating maquette. So on the Greater Manchester livery, they have a blue seating maquette. Um, the skipper and provincial have the orange seating maquette. So there is some differences. Got another layered loco appearing uh, just behind the pillar there. It is, we've got a peak, so that's one of the layered locos working. Uh, potentially, it'll be an illum illumination special. Thank you to everyone that's putting the subscribe through. Thank you very much. Right, we better get moving because we're holding everyone up.
the whistle that's popping up is the um, notification of uh, subs. <laughs> I might turn that off actually. Yeah. Uh, where is it? That's the question. Uh, I think I've muted it. We'll soon find out if it makes a noise. Can you not see the alerts? I thought they were showing up. If it makes a noise in a bit, let me know. I can, I'll have to look into moving that. But I think hiding it. Thank you to everyone that's uh, subbed though. So yeah, plenty of um, so track side detail, you've got cable trunking, other bits and pieces that'll be going on, you'll find like loose sleepers, um, you've got poly trunking in various areas, which obviously house like signal cabling and stuff like that. I think it might have stopped actually because um, it, yeah, people's stuff's popping up and it's not making a noise now. <laughs> Apologies for deafening you with um, S stock whistles. <clears throat> yeah, the, the whistle on that alert was from the S stock, which was one of our um, Train Sim Classic um, DLCs. So you can see all the town and all sorts going on at Kirkham. Cars going up the hill up there, you've got the churches, um, the hospital as well. That once was at Kirkham. So, 75 mile an hour section this route now after Kirkham. Thank you, Matt. Uh, the announcements are on. We will shortly be arriving at Preston where this train terminates. The train doesn't technically terminate at Preston, it's just the way the announcements work. It's we, we terminate there, that's where we, we finish, but the service does continue on. engine variant features but he doesn't have the the, uh, the two doors uh, the more modern doors it was just an additional sound set that we added to it um, yeah but the, the extra door there isn't in on this pack it's actually um, this is the Kirk and tip work that's currently in the uh, name plates on, on the 47 which is one of 49 name plates which you'll find on the 47 just to give him a bit of an extra uh, spruce up. Obviously the uh, the high lamp, we've got the bardic lamp in there as well as an extra little feature. Uh, just while we're here, show you some uh, sin bots at all, because we didn't get a chance to look at the one at Blackpool as we were on our way. So you can come in here and explore, come watch the trains go by. Um, come here in the in the evening, sort of like evening or winter time, the, the fire actually does go on. You'll, you'll see five bar in there, as you would, back in the day. Uh, the AI pasters, are they using suspension simulation? Ed, can you just uh, answer on that one for me, please? Because uh, you will know the technicalities on that side of things. You just see, obviously, because this is the illumination period, just how busy it is, like how many trains there are going up and down. We pass so many in different AI in such a short space of time. Uh, no, AI doesn't have the physics running, so they just glide along. I mean, to be fair, you're not really going to see the AI bouncing as, as you're going by. We'll just 
just on the outskirts of Preston now. So we've gone past just before the, um, the site of Lee, the Lea Road station, which shut down, I think, in the sort of mid 30s. Uh, yeah, we're on the illuminations period mark, so we are running September. Just to show how busy it can actually get. Tom Benson Way, which is uh, in this period being constructed, as you can see. Uh, FPS counted with F3. Uh, is it is it Control F3 or is it Shift F3? Or is it just F3? Just before I start pressing buttons. Oh no, it's F3. I've done it. There we go. Can you see that? All right, guys. Coming into the Mordlands area, which is uh, sort of the entrance going to uh, towards Val Junction now. So you're greeted with the uh, the viaduct coming over. You can see St Walburgers Church as well. Is it St Michael's Church on the right? If I've got that wrong. Apologies. Or maybe St Andrews. It's what small like that. Slowing ourselves down because uh, we've, we've been drawn up to uh, single PN156. One of my favourite locations is just with all the, uh, the houses on the hillside. So much going on. views like with trains coming around this corner here as well. So the next scenario as well, someone just mentioned St. Anne's, we are actually going to be going to St. Anne's on the next scenario uh, for DMU debacle. This is where the OH League kicks in as well. St. Wahlberg's absolutely dominating. Also outside the PSB there, the uh, the power signal box, uh, the side there, you, you could be a various 101 or a 142 in there, depending if you have the 101 layer, of course. But, so if you don't have the 101, it'll be 142s in there. It's just an I think it's just such an iconic view that bit over Moreland. You, you, you've got the you've got the the viaduct, you've got the churches, you've got the the, the backdrop of Preston, everything going on underneath it. That. That was for me was one of my my favourite bits to to see. Just look like just views and all that. Yeah, we we, we have packed a fair bit of detail in. <laughs> I've just seen the detail. Uh, someone just just rubbed on the detail there. We've, we've we've tried to put as much in as we can. Without obviously breaking anyone's PCs or consoles, <laughs> we've we've been very careful in the way we've done it. We've always done stress tests on the Xbox One, so that, that was what we worked towards to ensure that it worked. If it worked on the Xbox One, which is the lowest uh, Gen 8 console, we'd be all right elsewhere. So we've we've made it so um, we took that like, did like great care. We, we did weekly uh, stress tests and stuff. This is Preston Station, so what we'll do, we'll finish up here. We'll have a quick little wander around the station and then we'll fire up um, the scenario, I think. Is there anything you would like to see um, whilst we're here um, on this part? 
I'll uh, do my very best to sort of accommodate uh, whatever I can. We didn't have the window open. <laughs> I thought we opened that. You can do the blinds and stuff. Also, the fan works. So if it's a if it's a hot day, get the fan on. That all the fa uh, all the blinds work on all. Uh, Show you what I can. Uh, so we got instrument light panel. Obviously more visible at night time. Obviously, Desto uh, lights, cab light. Again, not really visible in the uh, daytime as such. One of ones arrived after we just held him up. Um, obviously wipers. Slow and fast. Uh, all locos and the units uh, feature the new rain um, physics. Is it the rain physics? The, the, the rain effects, the new rain effects from Tracing World 4, they're, they're all features as well. Um, show you on this side, so you've got fold down seat, you can uh, go and sit in that. You can play with the wipers on the right side. So we are obviously the window on this side driver's door that opens outwards interesting it opens outwards so anyone stood behind here is going to get a door in the face if they're not careful um, blind also works so you've got a blind I had no idea that that was a blind until um, we found it well I found it was working just by accident <laughs> I always thought it was just um, a blanked off door that you couldn't um, like see through uh, engine off. Uh, that might break timetable. It's not a problem uh, because we are going to be giving up the train. So if I press engine stop, should. There we go. Engine stopped. We are going to be doing an engine start up anywhere on the next scenario, but I'll have to start the engine back up so this thing drives off. So to do obviously that, you could be uh, put into neutral. Right, so it's going to ask me to lock the doors. Now, can I do that by... No, I can't. <laughs> don't think. No. I'll have to do it in the seat. Right, let's just do that. And have a little walk around the station. Yeah, there's no sanders in this era. Uh, they were a, a later addition. I've got a platinum. Even though I did speed it. Um, to get your platinum uh, medals, you need to ensure you've got safety systems turned on. So uh, make sure you've got your AWS on. I'll just click on the free mode. I'll have to... Oh, I'm... <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being kidnapped. <laughs> well, that didn't go to plan, did it? It's taking me with it. <laughs> it's because I'm running late. Right. Ignore that. Um, I have to go to main menu. Now, just so you know, I, I'm running this currently on a shipping uh, pre-shipping build because I can't run this in public. So that's why you see that different menu. The only way I can show it with it all being how you'll get it on release. If I went to public build. I don't think it'd be quite how, how you'll see it tomorrow. So I've had to leave it on this just before anyone wonders what that screen is. Um, I couldn't do anything else other than that. So let me go back into um, free roam just for a moment because... Uh, actually, no. I'll do that in a bit. We'll do the scenario first because we're going to be doing some shunting at Preston after. So I can actually incorporate that with looking around the station. It's not That's not a problem. We can do that. Um, so DMU debacle uh, is what we're going to be doing next. So this entails a bit of uh, rescuing. So a stranded pacer needs some assistance. You must rescue the service to help get the South Fowl branch br uh, back up and running as soon as possible. Uh, oil terminal, we can fly there quickly at the end. I can quickly show you that if you, uh, if you stick with us. 
I can have a quick we can have a quick look around there. Um, we won't be driving the full branch tonight, I don't think. <laughs> uh, we do a cold start in a second, Oliver. So bear with us on that one. That actually features. DMU debacle. This is one of the five scenarios. Welcome to Preston. You'll be called upon to assist the pacer that has failed on its way to Blackpool South. Reports say that it has run out of fuel. Oh dear. <laughs> I'll leave the FPS counter on, uh, just so you can see. Uh, climb aboard the indicator unit. You will be required to perform a cold start and then head towards Sa uh, St Anne's Station. You can actually have a wander around the back of the uh, the PSB as well if you wish. Evening, Prof. So you can see actually the skipper's uh, spawned him. So that is the skipper livery. We're on provincial for this room, but there is uh, there is a skipper livery. Right, so we need to go and uh, get into the train. So you can do that by, obviously, you'd have to open up the uh, the little panel, open the doors, and so. So, open the panel, so, like so. So again, key in, open, Press the red button, close the hatch, and then lock that back up again. We can't drive the van, unfortunately. <laughs> <coughs> so next up, we need to unlock the uh, the controls behind this little panel up here. So to do so, you put the key into this uh, slot behind the door, turn that, uh, and that will say on. You're going to put the key into this little hole up here and then that's going to pop the lid open. To close the doors, you're going to press, obviously, uh, the one that says close, which on there is the blue button. And then close the panel, like so. Then we're going to take the, uh, the panel out of use, so back into off. So you can hear there's a pacer turned on, it's actually the old one next to us, I wasn't actually fired up yet, so into the seat, and we're going to, first of all, put this into uh, step 3, take it out of emergency, someone left it into emergency, um, key on, and we're going to pop this then into the neutral position, so, like so, when they need to uh, press the engine start button for at least 2 seconds, this obviously just to fire up the engines, Here, the engine firing up. Then I'm going to pop the reverser into forward now. Uh, before we do, uh, we're just going to pop some lights on. Uh, we can pop this into uh, not in service as well. These are just little extra things. You don't get instructed to do these, but you can do this if you wish. You'd want to put your lights on, but we didn't want to handhold everyone um, with the obvious things like putting a light on. The, the key things obviously walk you through how to do a cold start. So next up, pop it into release. And then, uh, oh, there we go. Get it moving. So we're going to stop at the indicated uh, mark, which is just up ahead. I think the yeah the, the the walking around and exploring I think is a big thing in this game. I I, I think it's um, great for the immersion. You're not tied down just to the train. You don't have to drive the train. You can you can literally walk the full route if you want to, and just watch trains go by as you're having a, a walk around. Take screenshots. Again, it's your experience. You can do what you want. Uh, Celtic Mad, yes, three engine um, sound sets are included on this. So we've got TL11 with the RRE5 self-changing gearbox, which is what we are running on on this scenario. Um, also, just a little other one to note, scenarios do have subbing, so if you've got the sub-layers, you actually might see other locos in the AI on scenarios as well. 
If you don't have them, uh, it'll just be the, the basic um, equivalents that you would uh, see. So, second up, you've got the TL11 engine with the Voif hydraulic transmission, and then you've got the Cummins engine with the again Voif uh, hydraulic transmission. Right, I'm going to change ends, so we need to shut down the cab. So we're going to pop. Just leave the braking step free. We're going to put tail lights on. Uh, turn the instrument lights off. Pop that into off and take the master key out. Um, that is all we need to do on this end. We'll leave not in service up there, and we'll go and travel down to the other end. You can either walk down or you can you can do the quick way of getting to the other cab if you're on PC. I'm not sure if you can do that actually on um, console doing the uh, sort of the quick change ends. So open the door. And in we go. Uh, I've just seen a question. So how do you centre the destination display if you're inside? So I think the handle needs to be sort of pointing to the left. I'm going to put that uh, theory to the uh, test now. So there should be... R no, it's not. Not far off. But you can come out and you can press F7 and F8 on the um, on the PC. Again, I'm not sure if there's a quick way of doing that on, on the console, if you're able to or not. I'm not fully fluent on console side of things, unfortunately, sadly. So I'm not able to answer every single question on that side of things. Um, right, so we're going to pop the key in. Into forward. Break into one. It's just a brake test on this bit. Release. And apply some power. The These are all automatic junctions which will be set for you. You will find that in some areas on scenarios or timetable, you may have to do manual points. So always be wary of where you are, wait on your surroundings before you start moving. Or you can you can put keyboard into the console right here. Excellent. So if you yeah, if you do it on there, you know what you're doing then. F7 and F8 are the destination uh, blind uh, keys. So it's slightly off, um, it's a bit of trial and error if you're sat in the cab, but you can do external cab view and uh, basically you can uh, you can soon line up. But in real life they were never always centred perfectly, they would sometimes be sort of off and sort of above and down. Might be running a little slight little bit behind. Ideally, if you because obviously I'm so I'm showing you everything at more slower pace. Puns, pace puns. Um you would get to this marker and that uh, the one four two that went past us just before would go past us whilst um we are waiting here. So we'd probably find that we will get um clearing straight away here. There we go, yeah. So what I'm going to do, uh, does the pace work with rail drivers? So this is a question that's popped up um, over the last sort of day. Unfortunately, at the moment it doesn't. However, it is something that we will be ensuring is um, up and working for the post release um, fixes. So we do apologise um, in advance on uh, that for anyone that does use rail driver. It was something that slipped the net and, and it was just something that sort of went a bit unnoticed. Um, so again, we are we are sorry on that, but we will ensure that when we do um, put the update out, um, so things will come through. There's always, you will always find that something needs updating. That will go in there with that. I've just put the headlights on. <laughs> well noted. You can see the pounce when it goes on point work.
lots of mills in the Preston area as well. It's a plunk of mill over there, which is still there today. That one still stands, but it's been repurposed as, I think, um, business blocks and stuff like that. Now, I don't think it's um, apartments and sort of, but I think it's actually like business blocks. But a lot of the, uh, a lot of other mills that you see on the route have since either gone. Some may still be there in some capacity, but like the chimney stacks may have gone. Yeah, the brake screech um, has been captured really, really well. Um, that was that was done by um, Ed's recordings and put all that together. That was in the Ed's audio library. So the Cummins, the Cummins audio, uh, so the Cummins engine variant is um, audio from Armstrong Powerhouse. So there's people that want to know the technicals of where audios come from. So uh, yeah, we've got the audio for the Cummins um, variant from AP. Um, the horn is from AP. The brake squeal, as I say, that is from um, AP. Oh, sorry, AP. Sorry, Ed. <laughs> That's Ed Fisk. Um, audio um, library. You got your TL11 stuff then. Um, so the TL11 engines are a bit of a, a mixture of audio stuff, stuff come from Class 101. Carefully selected, not just copied and pasted. It. Certain bits were taken off the 101, um, and again, other bits and pieces were from Ed's audio uh, library. I am the game. Watch the space. <laughs> Watch the space of what what's to come. Uh, no plans on extensions, uh, Nigel. The extension side of things in Train to World, it's not like Train in Plastic, unfortunately. It's a bit more of an unknown world. Um, I believe you can probably do extensions, because I think South East Nice Beagle was sort of done as extension, but then it was redone like as a whole new route but we've got no plans on extensions on this anytime soon but for the future sit tight watch the space and when it comes to that time again where we can announce something new we'll we'll be all over it again we've got to do well as Scott's put in there as well. That is that is key. Uh, Laker, will it be on sale on your website tomorrow? Um, it'll go on sale on our website as soon as it goes online uh, at Steam and Epic. So we'll, as soon as we know it's on there, it'll be the, the, the button will be pressed on our store as well. So keep refreshing. It'll go live on there as well. Uh, how long did it take for the route to get to this level of detail? Uh, we, we would work on the route for um, 18 months. That involved a lot of learning in the in the process. So when we came to start working on J uh, on this project with JT, obviously um, at TSW, we'd never used Unreal before. We'd, we'd never built anything in Unreal, so it was a whole new um, ball game, whole new learning ground. It was like, for me, it was like learning from day one again. Because I had, we had no idea what we were doing. So we had to, we had to learn the tools. We had to teach each other, help each other. If we didn't know what was what, we'd have to go look for the answers. We would get help. Like, DTG helped us massively with a lot of stuff. Um, loads of people within DTG and other areas and other people. Um, people still at DTG. People who have moved on from DTG who have helped out in the process. Um, without all their help. We wouldn't be where we were today. But we're still, we'll, be, we'll still be getting to where we were today. We'll still be um, probably behind. So yeah, without people's help, we, we wouldn't be where we are. So we, we thank them as well. 
got a red signal. Well, we've caught up to the other unit. So yeah, Solwick, um, Springfields, um, so it's the British nuclear fuel um, plant. So that's where the smoke that you'll see coming out the chimneys is for. Thank you, Bradley. So this signal is actually the one where we have to do the, uh, the task. And this is just because we're, we're following another unit. It's uh, currently so, uh, sat in Kirkham Station. We've got to go through Kirkham platform uh, to get to the Blackpool South line. You can't actually access Blackpool South through the fast. Major screech. Apologies on the ears. <laughs> uh, it'll be a steam Laker, so you'll get a, um, a steam key to activate in your um, in your account. So the yeah, the steam key will appear in your uh, JT account, and you just literally you'll copy and paste that into Steam. You receive that key instantly when uh, if you purchase off the website. I believe it, as well if you if you do purchase off our website and you've not got an account. Um, you make an account on the checkout side of things. Is that right, Scott? Do you make the? It's been such a long time since I made an account on JT. Way before I started working it. I think you make the account as you check out. I did have that question actually asked me um, a few days ago. I think it popped up in the DTG chat. Or somewhere just after the DTG stream. actually bouncing. <laughs> so the track joints as well, so the way the suspension actually works, it's actually reacting to the track joints and the junctions. It's not just the train arm just going to bounce. Yeah, it, it reacts to the track joints and the speed that you're going will make it bounce even more as well when you go over those like, points and junctions. So the track joints have been actually carefully placed in the route in the correct location as per the, uh, the cab ride footage. So you actually get the right sensation at the right locations. That took some uh, some careful research from Mark. So Mark was involved with the tracking the signal of the route as well. Dion, thank you. I'm actually going to have a week and a half off <laughs> the day after release. I actually am off for a week and a half just to recharge the batteries. But yeah, we're, we're all really, really proud of what we put together for you. We hope you all enjoy it as well, as much as we have putting it all together and, and learning how to build and build it all. So it's been a massive learning curve and a long old road to get to where we are. Uh, yeah, you can get it on the Xbox S, Jonathan. It'll be available on the console from 10am in the morning. So, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Andrew, thank you. Big thanks. So, 30 mile an hour um, as we curve off onto the left. So, we're going to go through the whole of the Blackpool South branch. We're just going up as far as St. Anne's with this. But it also gives a chance to show you Blackpool South, uh, Blackpool uh, South, St. Anne's Station. Well, so 
we'll need to stop in this next signal as well. So we need to ask for permission onto the branch because we've been a single line section. You can only have one train in and off uh, in that uh, any section. Because obviously there's a train sat there, it's currently, it, it thinks there's a, tra obviously there's a train there, you cannot go in there physically, so we, we have to request. So what you'll do, you'll be drawn off the signal, stop, and then you'll uh, tab or ask, however you would ask for your permission, and I believe you can do it as well by clicking that phone, so we'll do it by clicking the phone. If it's PC or whatever, if you're on keyboard, you can press tab if you want to do it that way, whichever way uh, suits you best. Typical that I've just missed the marker. Come on. It's gonna be really awkward. There we go. <laughs> so I'll click the phone, request to proceed, and it should. There we go. It's requested, it's thinking about it. should change in a second and we'll be able to uh, press onwards. There we go. So with the research of the route, I think it's helped as well because I, I, I'm local for the route so I'm five minutes away from Bernays which is the top end of the route so it's been really handy for me obviously going out and doing a lot of the photo research uh, at the early end of the project. Callum, Callum is situated in the Wigan area, so for him, he went out and researched stuff on the Ormskirk branch. It was really easy for him to get something like to Ormskirk and stuff like that. So we've, 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 two of us have been quite close to the project, so we've been able to uh, get out there and do what we need. Whiskey two shots, thank you very much, appreciate it. Try and keep it civil, not obviously jibing any other developers about like that, please. Thank you. This ain't the place for that. At the end of the day, other, other developers have helped us massively, so it's not the place for that. So we're heading towards uh, Moss Side, which will be the first station we go through. Uh, Ray Green is the little village on the left-hand side here as well. There used to be a station on this corner, uh, which I learned a bit about um, whilst I was building the area. Um, it was shut quite early on, it was well before like, beach and cuts and all that stuff. Uh, it was uh, located on this curve. I found out about that more whilst I was trying to research what these buildings look like. mile hour section. This always catches you out. If I drive in this direction, you'll be hurtling along at 70 mile an hour. Before you know it, you're upon this crossing and you've got to be doing 35 for it. So prepare yourself for your braking. You'll pick up and you'll learn where it's best for stopping and slowing down. I mean, we're not stopping at the station, so we don't have to worry about that. It's just we need to worry about getting ourselves down to uh, 35 mile an hour. Which it, it does creep up quite quick. So these units as well have tread brakes, so they'll, that means basically when you when you get to a lower speed, the brakes will actually grab a lot more 
better or quicker. So you'll you'll find that when you get lower speeds, that the brakes will grab on and be trails a bit quicker. Side. Evidence of it being double track from a uh, time ago, although uh, the double track actually was ripped up about, I think about a year before the route set. Yeah, it used to be double. Uh, how come we didn't have the other door there in it? To be fair, it was more real for them on the modelling side of things. Um, the train came to us and went externally to have bits and pieces done, so we, at the time we were only going with um, the one engine set. So it was quite late on where we added the extra um, like the, to have the other ones in there, so it got past that point. It's not to say maybe in the future you, may, you might see stuff come with other doors, but we've got no plans or anything like that. The inspiration for the route, so... It wasn't the first route we actually had in our mind to do. Uh, we had other ones. I'm not going to say what they are, because... they could be something for the future. But, um The 80s era was something that interested us all. Um, bended it through this idea and I'm local, I was like yeah, let's do it I've built this route, not this part but I've built the Blackpool to Preston route in Tracer Classic many many years ago um, but to have this represent this area um, in the game for me was quite a big thing to say like, to, to make the push so I'm glad we went with the idea I mean everyone will be happy to have their own route the local in the game so I, I, I would be just as excited as like someone else would be who has this route in the area. For me, it's it's close to home, literally. <laughs> it's, it's on my doorstep. But um, yeah, I think with it being a network as well, not just an A to B uh, route, made sense. There was a lot of stuff going on here. You've got the um, the illuminations. You've got all the scenes and stuff. So there's a lot of variety and change in a year's timetable, which we could. Um, scope in and the time the way the time set worked it, it, it worked really really well for that layering uh, and the differences that you can uh, get throughout the year in the seasonal side of the timetables uh Blackpool Central yeah um, that was yeah, massive station, 14 platforms. That uh, would have extended a bit further to Blackpool South. Blackpool South was where the central line would have joined in. The central line, very, very slightly, uh, you would have seen uh, here. So that, that bottom line here would have continued over and went sort of where my mouse is going. It would have gone over here, down, and joined up here, and then it would have gone up to sort of here to central. There's a slight bit of evidence of the old uh, central line on this. You, you see some like the old where the platforms were, and the old trap bed. Although a road being built on that trap bed as well. Again, for the the era though, the, the, the choice to go with this era because there's just so many BR Blue locos in the game. It was just a no-brainer to make something a in the area like the area that interested us all like the most, and b the fact that you could fill that timetable with all the locos that all fit in that same area so you we were absolutely laughing really in that sense that we, we, we knew we'd be able to get such a, a busy varied um, experience for you at this Anstall uh, station but if you live before now I've a chance to look at it again this used to be um, a big hive of activity, got the old good shed there. 
it used to be um, another platform here. It used to have fast liners here as well, so it used to have a lot of action. If you want to see obviously what this area looked like, just literally go and have a look on Flickr. Just type in Amsterdam and Fairhaven Station, and you'll find steam area shots, and it's, it's it's quite interesting to see. One for Scott, Royal Livam. He'll be here now with his inspection. Uh, he'll be inspecting it, make sure we've done it right. He's got the big up on his golf. So we, we made uh, made sure that we had the golf course um, represented properly. He's got the flags, got the buildings. And uh, the collectible for the golf bags is sort of where this comes from. So, because there's like I think two or three different golf courses on, the, on around the section, um, it made sense to have golf clubs as a collectible for golf bags. The flag, and we've got the uh, the clubhouses over there. I agree, Dan. It's a lovely uh, section. I, one I've travelled on many times. It's more on the side of uh, extensions are very, very tricky, and I think in TSW where you you start changing track and balls, you, you, you broke your timetable, that's the one. <laughs> oh, it's not an easy job. Slowing down, don't you worry. I mean, I've been told to slow down now. <laughs> the speed police are on to me. So yeah, we've got to stop before the 142 anyway, so we're not going to go straight to the back of it. This is St. Anne's. Uh, can you walk along the dirt road? Uh, no, uh, it's got collision walls there, uh, so it stops you basically from going too far there. There is areas in the route where you can uh, go off the beaten track and explore a little bit. So there is the uh, the stricken unit. Someone forgot to fill it up with um, juice. So we're going to couple up to the formation, so to do so, I'm going to just edge up nicely. Oh. Hopefully, that'll stop. <laughs> um, this train needs to be cleared to allow services to resume around the south branch. Please tell it to Preston so that it can cause... Uh, so we can't cause further disruption. So neutral. Gonna press the couple button for at least two seconds. That's done it. Yeah, it's alright. It stopped. <laughs> have to take. A look. Just make a note of that, Ed. That we'll have to take a look at that um, that juddering on the uh, coupler post release not something we'd seen nothing was raised um right so and you hold it down it was two seconds on it there we go um pop it into the off position master key out and we're also going to turn off the um the lights in here because we're not going to be uh using in here again so there we go we need to get out the train so we're gonna have to do all this we'll open the local so by this point obviously because you'll have done um, if you've done the tutorial that'll teach you about all about the, the, the door hatch and how to open other doors you've obviously had a, another go over the experience on the beginning of the scenario so at this point we, you should obviously have a, a bit more of the understanding on how um, to open these and the other doors basically so it's the opposite way around here though um last time we did the red buttons but now we're going to close them there we go so we need to go into this unit now we're going to set the tail lights to off because currently they're on so again into the uh, little 
panel, open the door. I'm just going to close and lock that for a minute. If I can get the key into there, there we go. So I'm not going to shut the door again because we're going to go back out in a minute. So I'll just leave that open. So, pop them into off. But, you might need to double check the back end. So, I'm just going to run down to the back. They are on though. But we can uh, we can actually go and set the destination blind if we wish to do so. Just to let people know that that train is not in service. So, we'll go that way. I'm not going to open all the other doors up. Whether that's right or not is a, another question, but we've done it, so. I should stand on the seats there. Uh, let me just double check that's actually uh, close enough. As I say, they don't technically always have them perfectly square on. So we're just going to lock the door. Um, everything's already locked up down here, so that's all good. Uh, before we jump in the um, the cab, let us have a little look around the station. So it was one that we didn't get quite the chance to show you on the, um, the DTG stream. So this one is um, quite in a, a sorry state. This literally is in the process of being ripped down, as you can see, all, all sorts of stuff's been uh, taken off the canopy and just been dumped. Um, yeah, it was literally in the process of going. So these days, the station still exists. The platforms are there still, but it's like a little modern build on here these days. Um, and that platform is just basically hidden under growth. You can sort of see where the buildings were still um, if it's not overgrown too much. Uh, that is another one of the collectibles that I'll just show you. So if you go to that; it'll uh, fix that up. And the only one we haven't done is. Um, a sandcastle. You can wander around and go around and come back into the station as well. Weave in around the passengers. So it used to have um, this was like a, a little bus store thing, that stall where you could actually buy tickets for the, um, for buses. No one reads destination blinds now. To be fair, no. <laughs> to see such a sorry state. This would have been uh, a grand station to see back in the steam day with obviously all, all steam locos either storming through to Blackpool or locals stopping here. I'm just going to take you for a little walk over the uh, the bridge as well because you can go this way so you can see all the smashed up panes of glass and stuff like that that are uh, knocked out. So you can, you can actually work out, so if you look at this one here, so you can see where that little shape's been cut out. You can see where it's been cut out of the roof up there. It's actually the, the one that corresponds. So that's been cut in half, so them two there with the shape would have been up there. It's just the, like the sort of the level detail that Marching went to uh, when he was building this one. And you can go into the toilet area. Why not? Mr. Quicko, good evening. How are we doing? Again, hello to anyone else that's joined us recently. If you're just watching in the background, uh, lurking or whatever, thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, for those who are in the chat, I've not obviously been able to get to everyone's messages, but thank you for um, taking part. Obviously, we've got Scott and Mark in the chat. I think Alex is still potentially around, answering bits and pieces. So, thank you. But yeah, it's, uh, there's all sorts. <laughs> so much stuff to see. Let's go and uh, get into the training. Let's get this line back up and moving. Go. There we go. That way around. So, we go back into here. Open all that up. No.
Oh. Well, nice like that. Uh, shut the lid. Ooh. Set some lights. Destination's already set, so we don't need to worry about that. So we are pulling the 142 that's got no engine on. There's no. Um, have I left a door key somewhere? Is that what that buzzing is? Let's see if we can find it in a bit. So yeah, there's actually some heavy weight behind this, so you you will notice it's, there's a fair bit of drag. Especially when you're going uphill. I, I did promise Ed that I'd try not to break something, and I, I, I might have just uh, done something that uh, makes it sound like I've broken something. <laughs> uh, would we ever consider doing a steam area route? I don't know, to be honest. It's not something we've really spoken about uh, steam area wise. I mean, there's been a lot, of, there's been a lot more work involved. I mean, there's a lot of work involved research in this era. I mean, technically it's not impossible to research it and do it, but at the minute there's, there's no plans. Uh, PA. Doesn't work in scenarios. You can click it. It only works in the timetable mode. It'll also work on the um, West Cornwall local. The, the announcements will be recorded for that route and it, it all works on there. Um, the recorded for T's and um, Northern Trans Pennine, but they're not obviously the trains aren't implemented in the timetable. If they ever were to become made into a timetable, the announcements would work. So it's been future proof if any, anyone ever went and did anything like that. There literally were buses, and obviously, everyone really sort of mainly knows the Cummins engine, that's what that's what pays for a lot of people who have been associated with the uh, Cummins engine. Um, the, these TL11 engines went fairly early on. Um, by 1993 they were um, they were phasing them out. By 1996, I think by 1996 they've all been changed to Cummins by them. So if you get continuous buzzer sounds, it means that you've either got two master keys in somewhere or two door keys. <laughs> That's a bad name. We've got obviously double sets now, so you can see double the bounce. You can actually see it popping away a little side. Like that. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, they had a varied sort of a varied and interesting sort of re-engineering career really, like in, in their temporary um, career that they had until 2020. <laughs> I mean there's still obviously some paces that are still existing today at Heritage Railway, so they still experience paces if you've never been on one. Your uh, your local Heritage Railway might actually have one operating. It subs uh, the the one. It subs in for the 150 the uh, pacer, so you can you can change in the menu the option the options there. It feels really really weird like storming through these stations that you would actually stop at every timetable. Have a bit of break. I'll just quickly show you. Um, Livam station. Which at this point, um, 
was currently in the process of being redeveloped as a um, like a, a bar pub sort of bistro sort of thing hence the sign opening soon and it is still today a um, like a, a pub I've not derailed the pace yet, no. Um, I felt like I was going to derail the pace at one point when um, Ed started work on the suspension. Um, in the early days of the suspension, it literally felt like it was like that banging up and down. It was so violent. It was quite comical to watch as well. Connor Young, good evening. Missile Fway, good evening. Just drop a few LOs in there just to some people I've just enjoyed. Um, good evening also Monty Burns, Wakey, drop a few randoms. Dylan R, good evening. Ratifus, good evening. Good evening Jason. Uh, good evening to everyone else who's here that I've not technically been able to um, individually greet. So uh, thank you for joining us all this evening. So at this point we're, we are curving away from the estuary so uh, the estuary is over in that direction, sort of like the uh, going through to the river, sort of like towards Preston, or the sea out towards um, like South Portway and that. Uh, Manchester Airport. There's uh, there's no plans on a Manchester Airport. Will it go to a hundred? I don't know technically. You'd have to give it a go. I've not tried it. Although it, it will probably go more than 75. I'm not sure if anyone else in the team managed to get it going like silly fast. Something that like I will do in a second. Someone did ask for about 200% um, just like on the cab space, so I'll pop that on in a minute just for a, a, a short moment. I mean, it's got 100 mile an hour on the needle, but whether it'll see 100, I don't know. I'm very well, thank you, Connor. Hope you keep it well. Well, boy, good evening. Uh, Mr. Start, sorry, don't worry at all. No need to apologise. We all have lives to, um, to attend to before we get to sit down and enjoy the trains. <laughs> um, I noticed that you included the old Pontins camp in Blackpool, which is no longer there. Yes, um, Pontins is there in all its glory. Um, the old chalets and all that. Yeah, these days it's uh, a modern housing estate. I like uh, screenshotting from here. It leans into, uh, leans into the curve. There's like a bowl by a bridge or a tree or something like that in my view. view. Uh, 75 is technically the official limit, yes. We're climbing at the minute, so you actually see it's actually struggling to uh, gain speed. Jason's going to 84. <laughs> Was you going downhill? Free roam on this route, there's uh, lots of traction included, and layers included in the Revan 47. To be fair though, if you want to do a bit of something more modern, you can, uh, you can free roam into modern stock. I have. <laughs> I've, uh, what have I done that done? I've driven the 158 down here, which just felt really right, um, even though the delivery wasn't uh, correct. Flying Scotsman, I've driven that down here. 
at Blackpool. Um, I've driven a modern RHTT in free roll. That was quite good fun. But we were class 20 and a 37 at each end. <laughs> Not with a 66. But yeah, you can do, you literally, it's your own experience. You can do as, whatever you want. You're not tied to the timetable. All the scenarios, you can literally jump in free row, put whatever trains you want down, go for, go for a drive, change the train, put another one down. You literally can do whatever you want. Ponting, you was there in 86, ready for slip. That's it, loads of people have stayed there over time when they've come to Blackpool, one of the, uh, the big places. Yeah, if you haven't done already, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Drop us, a, drop us a thumbs up, drop us a sub. We'd, we'd like to try and build this channel but, um, moving forward because we're going to keep the stream to um, this channel. We've got other stuff obviously uh, in, the, in the line. It's not just trains in World that we feature, we do have trains in Classic as well. And there is obviously, as, as many people will know who follow JT, uh, there is other TS Classic content to come, so they will be featuring on the streams as well. Uh, we're heading south, Iron Horse, so we're heading towards Preston. We've come from Blackpool South End. We uh, went as far as St Anne's and uh, picked up a, the broken down train, which we're now dragging back to Preston. The pace are waiting for us over there. So we're coming off this line, he's been held. So bounce. Just reacts to all of the um, the point work and all the track joints. Making Mr. Pacer more and more. Head down to your local railway. I think um I'm trying to think where the one four twos are. I don't think Keith have got a one four two have they? They've got one four four, one four three. Still a pacer. Unfortunately, I won't be demonstrating the Vulcan. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd probably demonstrate um, not taking off very well and landing badly. I've been playing a little bit of Microsoft Flight Sim recently. I am no way in any shape or form qualified to demonstrate such um, an iconic beast. <laughs> no doubt the team at JF will be uh, at hand with all the videos and all the content leading up to that though, it does look absolutely fantastic. I actually do remember that Blackpool Airport, which you can actually slightly see from the centre at Squires Gate, there was a Vulcan outside Blackpool Airport. Um, I believe that got scrapped. One point. I always remember seeing it when I was young. It was uh, all gated around, all, all gates around it. And it was just there on display. Massive thing. Huge. Happy Rice, good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you see the bounce kicking in now, so this section gets a bit more rough again. And then it'll gradually smooth off, it'll, I think after solve it you get a um, welded rail, 60 foot length or something in uh, East Lanks, I'm not sure if they've got a 143 or 4, they did have a pace but I don't think they had a 142. Wensleydale's got some 142 I think. I think 
East Kent Railway's got a 142. Um, I also think there is one at the Midland Railway Centre. Yeah, uh, Cambrian Her Heritage Centre have got a pacer. So there's, there is a fair few knocking about. Uh, Locomotive Services Limited have got, I think, one or two potentially. I know they've got one, I'm not about the second one, they've got a second one, but they, they, they have one that's actually mainline registered. Which actually did a tour recently in the um, orange livery. I went to um, London. So they, they are still knocking about. Sway on that. See the sway just kicking in there. So this is a Solic station, which is a very, very much least used um, station. Three trains stop there on our timetable, two in one direction and one in the opposite. This is basically a station to facilitate the, um, the workers to get to the um, nuclear facility, um, you can do, uh, nuclear fuel facility, which is just over there. Um, all these trains stop in the daytime, hence why there's no lighting in the station as well. So at night time it is a rather dark place. Um, we had a look at the single box earlier, so you want to see the single box. If you flip through the stream, you'll see that. This is the uh, Solowick BNFL uh, plant. There is actually tracks in there. Timetable doesn't actually serve there, but by the R point, there was no trains to and from it. But uh, you should be actually able to go into there on free roam. You should be able to get in here and venture around if you wish to do so. Oh, the yeah, scrap producer, no new owners. Was that the Vulcan at Blackpool, Adam? Uh, Adam Winter. LSL do have two. Oh, that was that. Uh, so not too far from Preston now, it's a couple now. And then we'll do our little small shunting um, timetable. And that will wrap us up. up in about a quarter of an hour. Just to show you something else that um, had been shown off um, on the DTG stream. We're not, we hadn't featured any 47 driving tonight but that does feature on the DTG stream. I will be doing more streams, don't worry. This won't be the last stream. We will we'll be uh, doing more on this uh, post-release. Does it sound the same as a 101 on idle? Uh, no, it doesn't sound the exact same as a 101, no. You can't couple um, the 142 and the pacing together, no. Yeah, totally different coupling. So you can wish list on Steam, um, you can also head to our website on the Just Drink store and you can sign up to the email system so basically you won't miss when it goes live, you'll be, um, you'll be notified. Uh, there's no Mark 3A coaches, no. Might have been more one, was it not one? Yeah, 155 and it would have been 153 later on. 153 is used to run the Ormskirk branch um, under Northern Rail.
We're going to go to the parcel platform and hand this over. Uh, from Preston Station, can you access Dock Branch or Deepdale? Uh, not on this, you can't, no. It only, the reason why they didn't feature was because there would be no true meaning start point to get to them locations. Um, ideally, I mean, if you're going down to the Dock Branch, I think it, was, it would have been working for me. Was it Lindsay or Refinery or Stanlow? Uh, so sadly, they, them, um, they're not in the route, so it wouldn't have really been an ideal bit to have on there and plus you would have needed them industrial shunters and stuff as well there's a lot of work to go in there just one of them things unfortunately thank you Nigel The, uh, the Mark 1s that are uh, coming with the routes of the all blue express parcels uh, livery. <laughs> Absolute stormy departure. The driver was not messing about. <laughs> Great work, you've managed to clear the line in time for the next service. A fitter is currently en route to attend to the failed unit. Uh, yeah, the new smoke also appears on the uh, class of eight, which we'll see um, on the next little dirt run. So we're going to pop this into the off position, uh, master key out, off, uh, step three. Uh, other than that, we can uh, can leave this train. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're going to have a look, weren't we? What have I left in here? That's off. So I've no idea what I've left in. Oh, no, that's on. And it did. I left the key in the back lock. Fixed it. <laughs> oh, motion! I didn't put it on to two. I do apologise. It was on a hundred. It was on a hundred. I totally forgot about uh, putting that on to show. I do apologise for that. There's so much to try and talk about and show you in such a small period of time. there as well so I'll just show you the uh, tankers quickly before we end it it's a different livery for what you've seen on um, heavy freight pack You can chain through to the next scenarios if you wish. <clears throat> right, literally bear with me for two moments. I'm just going to go and refill my glass with juice because my mouth's like sandpaper. Uh, and we'll continue with the next run. I'll be literally a moment.
Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> my, my, my mouth is drying up. Better. We've not quite finished. We're nearly there. We've got one small little thing. That's taking us a bit longer to get to where we are, but I don't mind. So, last little bit we're going to do is on the um, 08. So. And we're on 08744. We're doing OP06. It's a little bit shunting. Early in the morning. Uh, we're going to do this with a little bit of fog. Early June. Uh, fog density. I want to show you what the station like with the volumetric fog and and all that. <coughs> what juice am I on? I am on cherries and berries. Which is rather nice. <laughs> right, should coaches around Preston. various deliveries going on. We are on 08744, which is Preston's pet pilot, which is the uh, special livery in 08, which is uh, TMD Wigan, or Wigan TMD, with the Lancashire rose painted on. Um, other little features in the paint side of things, you've got white steps, uh, white buffers, and a red buffer beam. That is a typo, by the way. I actually thought it was meant to say Denton, it's actually Denton. <laughs> it's also got a white roof as well. Right, we can uh, move on. See it with the fog coming in. This has got the new clip on. time of the day you're around here, whatever weather or not, there's always an atmosphere going on. The shunting aspects in this route as well are different at each place, so Blackpool North you're doing shunt release throughout the day, Preston you're doing um, Basically, you're, like, you're shunting like mail coaches off, off trains, putting them on sort of other trains. <coughs> there's all sorts you can do. Uh, you've got the Union V 
viaduct as well, the Ribble Viaduct. Uh, on the map? <coughs> Certainly. <coughs> so we literally uh, just at Preston there. Just there. Again, that's just a route map for anyone who wants to uh, browse quickly. <coughs> Ormskirt down here, Preston here, Kirkham, Blackpool. Uh, you've got Polton, Blackpool North, and Bla uh, Bernays. Sorry if my uh, microphone cut out on me. Uh, headset just decided to start like beeping at me. Just love how the sun is trying to break through the fog. Uh, yeah, all layers are on the 8th, eight, Jim. We haven't got, actually got a reduced timetable. We've not had any reports that we needed to do it, and we haven't done anything for that. So, yeah, it, it's all there. One of the nice things is if you do this at like late in the evening and it's foggy, you've got so much going on, so it obviously would be dark. The signals actually emit um, like a, a flare off them as well, so you can actually see the uh, signal piercing through the, the, the fog as well. There's loads of static, is there? One sec. Reboot my headset. See how that goes. Typically, I'll have a moment at the end of the stream. We've got the uh, the mail bridge, which uh, these days isn't there. That uh, got took out. I think it's sort of like around the top, late 90s, early 2000s. I think that went. Horse, you do get to do shunt release in the platform north. Unfortunately, I won't be able to demonstrate that this evening, but um, that I think uh, was demonstrated on the DTG stream. It was, it was on the DTG stream if you want to see uh, a scenario featuring it. Drop the uh, the Buckeye coupling as well. Before we can couple up. I don't know if we can be able to see the flare through the fog. It's too light, I don't think we're gonna see it unless I can see it against that. You can't see it in the daytime, it's only more for the night unfortunately. arrived. He's off to Manchester. Right, so we've got a minute to wait, it says, well wait 1M, one moment, one minute. So we can have a little look round, can't we, for a minute. It's just, it's inside as well, because obviously the fog actually does build up, with, we actually found photos, evidence that it actually does get quite foggy inside the station as well. Probably the build-up, a clag as well, it doesn't help. Um, but you get to see the actual the sun piercing through the um, 
the windows as well, which is nice. Uh, I've got. If you have all the relevant DLCs, I understand all the layers should be present. If not, why would you pay thirty pound? You will still see the, um, other stuff in its place, I believe, for quite a lot of the stuff. You you will miss some bits, but other trains are I think covered. I think I think that's where you're getting at. You will be you will be missing some, yeah, definitely. They'll still be in your timetable if you eventually was to purchase that DLC. Um, certain bits like the Spirit of Steam stuff you'll definitely miss, and some other West Coast bits. But uh, yeah, some bits won't be there. I think some of the bits are subbed in then by the 142. For example, I think the 101 that subs in on the peak services. If you've not got the 101, you just see the 142 in its place, for example. All the base timetable will be there. You need the base game, yes. You need trains with Wolf 4, Iron Horse. But there's nothing to force as well for the layering side. You don't have to have them. It's, it's your optional choice. I hope that answer. I hope I've answered that right. Because what then, though, it's. Over time, if you was to build up your collection and you got them DLCs, eventually you would see it more and more trains obviously put into the room. Uh, the bits that obviously that like bit. bits. Oh, the oil terminal. I'll quickly spawn the oil terminal just to, as we are wrapping things up, just so you can see it. We won't be doing any drive down the Bernays branch now, but what I'll do is I'll load up there and we'll finish off the stream with that view, just so you can see what it looks like up there. So, um, by that point we'll have to, uh, have to wrap things up unfortunately. So we're going to go up to signal PN94. Hopefully I've covered as much stuff as possible um, for you guys, that stuff that I might not have been seen on Thursday last week as well. Um, if I haven't managed to show something that you might want to see, we'll do it again. We'll, we'll try and ensure we, we cover other bits next time. As I said, there's just so much that to fit in and touch a small window. We, we just couldn't do every single thing. So we'll be doing more streams um, in the very near future post-release, so we'll be able to do some more stuff. Wait for a moment. I think we'll just shunt in basically into the siding. I think we're on the middle track. Middle or the outer one. It's one or the other. A grand old um, viaduct is this. It was um, originally the brick one, and then they extended it with the uh, the metal uh, girder bridge later on. We are a, um, a third party developer. Through um, obviously we publish it through Dovetail, yeah. The, uh, the partner program. There we 
we're actually going middle track. Sound very weird, but would you guys possibly be able to get a license for LNERs 91 and Mark IVs, Mega DLC for East Coast Mail Island? I don't think there's anything that says we couldn't, but there's no plan to do so um, on that. Personally, I would love to see it, <laughs> just to, on the personal side of things. Thank you for the kind words, I know. And everyone else this evening's um, took the time to comment. Whether it's uh, feedback or just uh, comments in general. Requests. Or if, if you've just been sat in the background and you've not chatted in the, in the chat, but it's not a problem at all. Thank you for just taking the time to come and join us and have a look at what, we, uh, what we've been up to for the last uh, 18 months. You can, see, you can see the clock now, look. See it blowing under the front of the uh, loco. Uh, JC website from 4 p.m. between 4 and 6. We, we, we were told on uh, Thursday it should be from 4, so in that sort of window. Just basically keep 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 refreshing. If you've signed up to the email side of things on our um, on our website, you'll get a notification when it's gone live as well, so you won't miss it. I say, if, if any, anyone wants to come through our website, just sign up for the email. You, you won't miss it then. If you if you're going through Steam, you can wish list on there as well, so you, you'll basically you, you won't miss. Um, you'll get your notification wherever you decide to go. Um, again, consoles it'll go live from 10 a.m. on PlayStation and Xbox. Sure it'll smash into the buffers. Definitely not done that before. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. We are not done. We've got a couple. First of all, oh, no, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, no, I've done that wrong. We're we'll coupling from these two. Do we have anything else to do? Oh, yeah, we do. We're not done yet. I thought it might have been there, and that was it. Get back at me. Get back in me uh, on me perch. <laughs> so sad. Better visibility. Can see the signal then as well. What I'll do, I'll I'll leave this one here and I'll quickly look at to Bernays because we, we've basically seen what's going on here. So uh, rather than doing the same thing again, I'll quickly just load Bernays up just because it was a request to quickly see that and we'll we'll tie things up and we'll uh, we'll round the stream off well thank you very much I hope you've enjoyed uh, what you've seen this evening so just to finish off uh, I will load up on one of the uh, services at Bernays because I'll be able to get a 
uh, a better view on things. Actually, yeah. Uh, it's a stand low. Yeah, if you haven't, if, again, if you haven't done last uh, quick push, if you haven't done already, uh, if you could drop us a subscription, follow thing on uh, on the YouTube channel. Massive thanks to anyone who does that. Um, hit your notification bell and all that as well, because you'll be notified of any videos that go live from us and future stuff. We uh, come up here for a vantage point. So that is Bernays in all its glory. Quite a, a decent sized area. We've got um, yards over here. There's also some other yards that um, do feature up and around into the terminals. It's, it's, um, it's very industrious up here. Got some nice, um, some nice views. If you can, if you can call it a nice view of. Uh, terminals but yeah you get a nice sort of vantage point for when trains come in but yeah i'm gonna wrap things up thing on that point so first of all a uh, big thanks to everyone that's taken the time to come and join us this evening and uh have a chat in the in the uh, chat feed asking questions uh requests and feedback or just general comments about the uh, the route big thanks um again it goes live tomorrow so um 10 a.m xbox and playstation and um, between 4 and 6 um, p.m. on PC, which is PC, uh, Steam, Epic, and also you can acquire it through our website as well. Um, if you come through our website, big thanks. Um, it, it really enables us for future stuff. Um, it speeds things up in that side of things. Um, also, it's the same package. If you get it off our site, it's exactly the same as it would be on Steam or Epic you will get a steam key which you will go and in, input onto your steam account and you activate it well on that note thank you for watching guys i'm gonna stop rambling on enjoy the rest of your evening and again we'll see you very very soon for another video or live stream on this channel all being well and yeah thank you bye for now guys